What's up everyone? All right, so here we are finishing Friday. This is my uh, ninth consecutive green day and I'm up over $9,000 again on CTRV. So that gives me uh, about $18,000, almost $19,000 of profit just on that one stock over the last two days. And just like that, I'm up nearly $30,000 on the month, which is awesome. 75% of my goal for the month of June in five trading days. I really can't complain about this momentum right now. It is super hot. I am being aggressive. I'm putting the pedal to the metal. Yesterday, I did trade with smaller share sizes. You might remember if you watched my recap. Today, I increased my share size a little bit. I didn't go super, super heavy. Monday morning, as long as we keep seeing this momentum, I'm ready to go back in full size uh, on Monday, Tuesday, and hopefully next week we see continuation of this hot streak and we keep seeing stocks on the scanner up 50, 60, 70, 80, or even 100%. CTRV today was straight off the watch list. The setup was a bounce off the lows and nailed it. So enjoy the recap today. As always, questions, comments, leave them below. And I'll see you guys first thing on Monday morning. All right, everyone. So um, finishing here, my ninth consecutive green day, which is uh, always nice to be on a little bit of a hot streak. Uh, particularly, you know, at this time of year, it's uh, summer is can be beginning of summer can be hit or miss. Uh, but we are the market is still going really strong. We are seeing some great opportunities uh, really every single day this week, except for Wednesday. Wednesday was a little slow, but the rest of the week has been um, great. Started the week with ten thousand dollars, finishing the week with just under ten thousand dollars. So uh, that's going to put me up uh, close to thirty grand on the week which will be 75% of my goal for June. $40,000 is the June monthly goal, and making 30 grand in the first five days um, is, is, a, is the cushion that I wanted. That's, you know, I love when we get a really strong cushion in the first few uh, days of the new month, and we definitely have gotten it here. This week has just been a continuation of really hot momentum that we saw uh, towards the end of, of last week. Last Friday, I made um, about 17,000 trading right off uh, the watch list. Today, CTRV was the stock I traded, again, right off the watch list. Uh, my first entry was at $7.20. I got in at 7.20 uh, as it was hitting high of day. And what I was looking and thinking might happen was uh, a short uh, squeeze, a short bounce off uh, off the lows. And we definitely got that. We got a bounce off the lows from 7.20 all the way up to a high of $11, which is really pretty incredible. I mean, that's you don't see that type of breakout every single day. So, uh, you know, yesterday, I made some good money trading CTRV, uh, but in the afternoon it, it ended up selling off uh, you know, pretty strongly. And so what I thought today was that perhaps it would give us a bounce off the lows if it broke the pre-market high, which was 750. I got in at 720 anticipating the break of the pre-market high and buying as it um, made new highs, which was high of day. Uh, it then squeezed up to 797 up to a high of 888. It did a pullback right here. I bought the five minute setup, sold on the squeeze up to 945. Resistance around the half dollar, it pulls back. And then right here, I got back in for that break over 945. That trade uh, at, for the break of 950 was particularly impressive. Um, that was right in here that we got the, the break. The high was um, 945 or 944, I guess. No, it was 945. Um, and on that one, let's see, let me find my order. Um, I I just, I was super aggressive. I jumped in, um, let's see, where was this? Um, Here it is. Um, so I jumped in this at 930, 940, and 942, anticipating this break, 9,000 shares. And it just immediately popped up, uh, well, pretty close to, made this quick squeeze. I tried to add, I was at max share size. I wanted to add again for the break over the half dollar. I'd already gotten myself too deep. Now, yesterday I was willing to trade with um, 6,000 shares. I then increased my share size for the INSY trade and then brought it back down to 6,000 shares. 
This morning on my first trades on TTRV, I only took 6,000 shares. But once I had a good profit on the day, I was up three grand, I increased share size to 9,000 shares. And just like yesterday, when I'm wanting to buy, I'm pressing shift one without even thinking about it. I'm just like, I'm, I'm adding, I'm being aggressive. And then the, the platform is holding me back to my predetermined max share size, which is good because at the beginning of the day when I say, look, I've got to be a little careful, it's the end of the week, we've you know seen some choppiness, um, you know, I, I need to be able to taper back a little bit. So anyways, we got this break here and then um, squeeze from 944 right up to 1029. And that was uh, for me, the big winner. On that trade, um, I was up about $3,000 before that. And then on this breakout here is where I made about six grand. And then I added in this consolidation for the break over 11, uh, it did not work, and I stopped out down here giving back about $800 of profit. So, um, you know, that's the way it goes sometimes, um, giving back a little bit of profit, being aggressive. Like I often say, every day you trade, you are either leaving money on the table uh, or you are giving back profits. You're always doing one or the other. Today, I actually am giving back, despite being up nine grand, I'm actually the one that's gonna be giving back a little bit of profits because I was up close to 10 grand uh, before stopping out on this drop. Now, had this broken to the upside uh, and squeeze up to 11.50.12, well, this might have been a thirteen, fourteen thousand dollar day, but didn't happen. Dropped here, got halted going down. Currently, it is forming a five minute setup. Uh, it's forming the five minute setup through circuit breaker halts. Uh, first five minute candle to make a new high actually just happened, but. I think it's gonna be a little tough to trust this one minute setup. I think it's gonna to need to do more of an ABCD pattern, more co uh, coiling, consolidation, and then maybe a move back up. But uh, this one, you know, a little tricky. There were a couple of bigger red candles, flush down here, flush down here, but then it just kept recovering. So great job for those of you guys that traded it and did well on it. RWLK was another one that I was watching but I was so focused on CTRV, I didn't feel like I could split my focus and trade both stocks at the same time, um, which is sometimes the case. So I focused on the one that I was already in and that I was already making money on and just left, the, uh, left this one uh, alone. So um, yeah, that's about it today. Uh, kind of a, a short midday recap, not as much to cover, but um, good opportunities on, on CTRV. And this was right off the watch list. So really no, no excuse uh, for not being able to capture um, a, a little profit during this move. I mean, because this is a pretty big move here. Yes, obviously some places like up here, up here and up here were higher risk. These pullbacks near the VWAP and the, and the 20 moving average were lower risk on the one minute. And I was trading both of them. I was buying breakouts of the highs, then buying the pullbacks, scalping the high a day, buying the pullback, scalping the high a day break. So being aggressive and trading both setups um, got me to where I'm at here today, which is um, a really solid day. So let's see. Um, so this is the 107th trading day of the year, 107th, and uh, I'm sitting up $268,000 on the year, uh, which gives me a daily average of about 2,500, 19% higher than my daily average for 2018. Hopefully I can keep it up. Uh, even if I go back to my 2018 average, I will still finish the year up $528,000. If I maintain this average for the rest of the year, I'll finish up $575,000 this year. So. You know, I keep kind of an eye on that forecast. I forecast low, and if I come up higher than that, I'll be uh, really pleased. Uh, so yeah, we've got about 123 days left in the year based on my projection of personally trading 230 days, which accommodates taking some days off, um, you know, throughout the year. So really can't complain here. Great start to the month of June. The momentum is still hot and I'll be back at it Monday morning. Hopefully we see this uh, hot streak continue and we can just have um, a fantastic beginning uh, of, to the summer. And I'm looking forward to uh, the rest of June. Now that I've got a cushion, I can coast a little bit if things do slow down. And July is often a really strong month as well. So um, 
you know, I'm going to try to do the best I can here in June and July to stack up some profits. If it does get slow in August, then I'm, I'm going to try not to sweat it too much. August can sometimes be a little bit of a slower month, but a good time to be studying. And if you can be green in August, well, you could probably be green every month of the year because August can be a tough month. So good month to trade in the simulator for beginner traders. All right, everyone, that's it for me. I will see you all back here first thing on Monday morning. Bye, everyone. If you're still watching, you must have really enjoyed that video. So why not subscribe and get email alerts anytime I upload new content? Remember, when you subscribe, you become a member of the Warrior Trading family.